Okay, this is Sam, South Carolina. Happy Bees back again. Wind picked up kind of a lot faster than my bees could fly, so I, I quit with that. And I went and got some stuff that we needed anyway. But this is what we're going to do now. <coughs> this box over here is what was on top, and it was about empty. This box was on the bottom. It had the brood and the queen and all that in it. So what we're going to do is take some frames out of this one, take some frames out of this one and put in that one and those back in here so she's got a place to lay. And we're going to find her this time and mark her. Just a little windy today. When, when the wind picks up, fly, uh, moving is faster than the bees can fly. I um, I quit working with them. See there on the top there. But they'll go home, or else they'll stay there, and I put them back home. This frame here. is out of the bottom box and it is full with brood with brood and eggs and stuff we're looking for the queen right now but we're going to put this one in the top because she can't lay in there anymore going to put it over here in about the middle okay then we're going to take this frame here which is a good laying frame put it right here beside it and then we're going to take these off of here and put over here with their buddies this frame here well this frame here We're going to take and we don't really care where the queen is this one here is all laid up with eggs and brood and all that stuff eggs and everything down here and we may even do something else This one up here on this side. Now there is something else we could do that we might even do that. We can take that one and put it here. See, this one's all laid up too. Here, that's all laid up. There's no place for her to lay. So we're going to take it. I don't know what we're going to do with the bottom. So we're going to take this one. Need to make a split. 
but the way the wind is it today, I don't really want to. Take this one and put here. I know the wind, is, the weather is bad. And People, you got to do what you got to do to keep things going. If I keep them like they are, it's going to come a time when they're all going to just jump up and swarm at one time. You know, you, you save a little, you lose a little. It's out of our hands anyway. Okay, this needs one more frame. This one. I'll put here. This one has brood and stores and eggs and all of that on it. But there's nowhere else you can lay on there, so. He's gonna put it upstairs too. do something else with them. We're going to take that one and put there. And we're going to take this one, which they need to finish building out here. has a little pile in there, but this is all worker brood. And they got to fix this, which they'll do all that quicker if it's in between the frame. That's got brood and filled out and stuff. And we're still looking for the queen here now. Oh, you, can you see how gentle these are? These are my babies here. It took me 19 years to get them this way. The first year wasn't very much. This one is... There's Queen again. She is right now looking for a place to lay. like this people but the way my thumbs are nowadays I can't do it that way anymore this is takes a little bit longer but it's safer for my queens
wants to keep going down a little pushy down thing. got her we killed a couple of bees in there but we've got her now what we're going to do is mark her with a white pen but I think we might just put her over here to where she's safe right now Push the little thing up here and hopefully we can get the queen up at the top. There she is. Come on, go, 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 go. She still got a little white on her, but. Not for them anyway. But don't look like my pen's gonna work. I don't know. I think we got it now. Go, go. We're gonna get her right here. Put a little bit more white on her. There she goes. Now we're gonna put that over there. that there okay now this one that she was on wait a minute this one is one that's only got honey and stuff on it and it has a that's about all I see in there and it was in the middle so what we're going to do is take this one slide these over because this is going to be a honey duty frame that we gonna, and whatever they want to do with it we're going to put that there and we're going to take these and slide them back this one take this one that they can finish building out and that's all work frame and we put it here then we take this one over here and put it over here and we take this one that's a good work frame
Filing patty. Take my queen. And she go. Went down right there. You need to wash these before you use them again. Ah, should have brought my feather with me. See, this is what I use my smoker for when I use it. This one. Get all these off of here without making them mad. You can't save them all, so don't worry about it. I used to worry about it when I was starting. Put that back down there. Put these over. That here looks already, already right. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of piling patty on them. Listen to Bob Walker. Good guy. Good with his bees. That's good honey. That's Walker. Bob Walker. Walker Bee Ranch. Good morning, sunshine. Hello, sunshine. Uh, I don't know who that was, but Bob Walker. And he was talking about peppermint to keep beetles away. And he's mixing it with his. Um, pollen patty he's making his own pollen patty so he's, he's mixing it with his pollen patties he said that'll keep the beetles away he's supposed to I haven't made the pollen patties yet but when I mixed up my uh, my syrup this time I did put a little peppermint in it so we're going to see if it works too But we're going to have to figure out how much you need to get off of there. We're going to have to find out how much we need to... Um... Oh, wait a minute. I was going to do something else. We did a whoops. So we can put a honey super on... I mean, a, yeah, a honey super on top of this. So we got to take this off, redo it all, kill a few more bees. Put that there. Take this. Put it there. Take our honey super. Make sure you got it turned the right way. Put it right here. Hmm. Might need to go get my other one. I bought some yesterday. And we're going to get another box here. Didn't mean to do that. I got another box here that I bought the other day. Bob took me over to Blythewood Bee Company. bought these because I didn't have the time to make them. And the way the wood is nowadays is kind of hard. But see that fits a whole lot better. Uh, so we're going to put
put these are build out frames most of them build out mostly and we're going to put them there come back we won't have to check nothing maybe but the queen excluder I mean the honey supers up here but you notice I did not put a a uh, queen excluder in here to keep my queen from getting to the top she wants to get up there let her I'm going to spray a little bit of sugar water up here. Might get them up there a little bit quicker. And if I got a eight frame, I use eight frames. If I got a ten frame, I use ten frames. Some people use this, an eight frame, they use seven, 10 frame, they use nine. And uh, just bring it all together. I mean, separate them. And it works better for some people that way because they like it fatter. Sam is getting older, so he uh, get these little bees out of here. And we got all these pine trees around here, so we got plenty of pine straw. Put in there and let them do it. I might even put pine code in there. Yeah, some of them out. We have stick over here where there's a lot of them and get them up. You know, that was a whoops, but, you know, it happens, people. There you go. Okay, they're crawling out good now. <laughs> Except this one here is it's trying to get out and the other one is using it for a head, for a ladder. Come on. There you go. They'll be fine. Okay. Take this. Put it in at an angle. Go this way. Let's see, we still have bees down here. There's a couple, but not many, and they're flying, so they're okay. Yeah, we're gonna put this back on here. This is when I lose a lot of them. Oh. Y'all go check out Bob Walker Walker V Ranch. And he's a good guy. Y'all have a great day. This is Sam, South Carolina Happy Bees. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. Subscribe. You see what they're doing? You see them on that one? And 
they're going back home now. We lost a few, but I think we're okay. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.